Mamas. I'm Arlene. And I'm Camille. And we wanted to continue with how old is too old. We talked a little bit about it in our last video, but we weren't finished. Yes. We started thinking, what other things do we think we might be too old for? Or society says you might be too old for. Yeah. Uh, clubbing. Oh. How old is too old for clubbing? Or for clubbing, going to the after party? Yes. Just partying, but party after the party. Being out after 11 p.m. Long hours. <laughs> Being able to stay awake. Well, the first question to ask, how are your needs? Can you still wind down the way you want to? How low can you go? And get back up. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, anyone can go to the floor. We can all go down and stay awake. But... And if you can dance, Great. <laughs> if you can dance, what? Forget I said that. Okay. Here's another one I saw. What about <laughs> How old is too old to not eat your vegetables? Like, we have kids, so we know kids sometimes don't want to eat vegetables. But if you're a grown adult and you know that vegetables are good for you and you still have to be convinced to eat them, it just seems silly. I still will not, and I will never eat okra. I will well, never. Okra is just not to be consumed. I'm Nasty. sorry. I will <laughs> never. I don't care how anyone cooks it. It will never be okay. It's not for me either. However, for all you okra lovers out there, good for you. But I'm talking about people who are like, I'll eat vegetables. <laughs> or some people I know that I'll drink water. Like why? Like if you're I mean, made up of water. You kind of you can you need have to replenish. Stuff. Oh my god. I think there's a certain point where you have to be like, okay. These things are good for me. I don't want to do it. Yeah. Or I don't like it, but I have to do it. And you know what else? I so there are certain things that I don't eat. Like I don't like oatmeal and okra. I have, I have quite a long list, but most things that start with oh, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> it's the texture. It's that texture I can't no, deal I with. Like the slime okra. and all that. Okra I can't deal with it. But I will not encourage. Like I'll always encourage my children to right. try new things. Like I don't want them to ever see that I don't eat something so they don't eat it. Yeah. Like for example, oatmeal. They love oatmeal. Yeah. My kids too. I do some pretending really to make them think. I mean they're older now so they know that I don't eat it. Now, but when they were younger they're like, well did you eat yours? I sure did. <laughs> you gotta figure for the kids. I sure it's did. It's important. But <laughs> I do think but I mean the reason why I even came up with this when I was because I like to follow like um food blogs and stuff like that and there was someone like asking what, what they could do to like get their husband or boyfriend mm -hmm. different questions multiple times it's a question where they want to know how to get their significant other to eat more vegetables and ways they can disguise it and hide it in the food can you do and it I'm like kind of like uh, yeah like but I kind of feel like but I kind of feel like if you're an adult I think it's time that we don't have to be trying to come up with tricky ways. We don't have to be tricky to eat vegetables. Like you should just know, I gotta eat this yeah. and just do it. In this it's kind one, of hard to force yourself to eat as an adult. Yeah, and this one I kind of feel like it's an age where it's too old for me to have to force you to eat healthy things. Just, yeah. You should just do it. No, just do it. No. How old? Yeah. Uh, one? Oh yes. Oh, this is a good one. How oh. old is too old? to no longer be afraid of your mother. <laughs> if you're raised in the type of household that we were raised in, you're never old enough to not be afraid of your mother. Yes. You will always fear this woman because respect always. Always, like I don't think you ever feel old enough. But then I know some families where they can just say anything to their mothers and just like, Swear in front of their mothers. Like, would you ever swear I in front of your mother? Still will not do that. Never. Never. Ne can't even form the words. And I know some people who they're and their mother. They can talk to their mother and like swear and talk about anything, all kinds of intimate details of stuff. And I'm kind of like, yeah. mm -hmm. around her, I'm still. I mean, not fully a child, but not grown enough to just say anything. <laughs> so yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I guess it has something to do with the upbringing. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We weren't brought up that way. So we will always be. <laughs> <laughs> Always. And our kids probably will too. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. Maybe, maybe not as bad as us, but definitely a little. So, I mean, I guess we have this, we've come to the same decision as our last video. Everything depends on your comfort level. Yes. What brings you joy, how you were raised, right. what you think you feel good about. Yeah. 
We just know how old is too old, but it's fun to ask the question. <laughs> right? Yeah, these are the things that we think about. Yeah. yeah. So we just like to share these conversations of these silly things that we think about. And no judgment, just fun. Yeah. But we'd love to hear what you think are things that yeah. are people are, might be too old to do, or you think that are too old. Or what are they telling you you're too old to do? What are people saying? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah. It'd be fun to have that conversation because we feel like it's fun. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening.